Hey, what's up, guys? I'm BTC. What you're looking at right now is official Blizzard artwork of Sombra. This was accidentally posted to one of Blizzard's merchandise catalog websites. Now, this does confirm that that other image we saw previously uh, was somewhat legit. Now, Sombra didn't actually get released when the Halloween event came around, uh, but maybe it was the original plan. Maybe Blizzard was uh, originally intending to put Sombra out onto the PTR at the same time that they released the Halloween event, or maybe it was just an earlier thing and they were working on Sombra and they just never actually got uh, this, the right timetable for it, so Sombra got pushed back a little bit. But uh, this does confirm the appearance of the character. Alright, so let's break it down and see if there's anything we can learn about Sombra. So first up, she's in Volskaya Industries. You can tell there's a giant robot over on the right-hand side. And there's also a crane up top, which is used in manufacturing the robots. Now, when I first looked at this, a quick glance, I thought those were bastion heads down on the bottom, but they're actually the fingers of the giant robot. So, Sombra is using some sort of technology that's coming out of her gloves, and it is basically controlling the robot. Now... This leads me to believe that she's probably going to have some sort of control ability in the game, but I can't see it being limited to only things that are mechanical. Unless she's able to, like, summon something mechanical, I don't think you're going to see Sombra, like, taking control over a Bastion or taking control of, like, Torb's turret or something like that, uh, because that would be way too limiting. They're not going to give Sombra an ability that only works on a couple of characters. So if Sombra does have some sort of control ability, I think basically it's either going to maybe deactivate the weapon systems of the other players, or maybe she'll actually just straight up gain control of another player for... I don't know, like four or five seconds or something like that. I don't know if Blizzard actually wants to go that route because generally when it comes to crowd control effects, players don't really like to be on the receiving end. They don't like to be stun locked. They don't like to be in a state where they can't control their character. Now with the sleep dart, yeah, you can't control your character, but nobody can actually do any damage to you either because any damage will break it. So if they gave Sombra the ability to control someone else's character and that person then just like jumped off a cliff or something, I have a feeling that players are going to be upset about it and I don't think that is really what they're going to do. So I think Sombra would probably more summon something. Maybe she summons, you know, some sort of machinery to help her or she's going to do something to the weapon systems or the abilities of the other players. Uh, other than that, there's not too, too much that we can really figure out from this picture, uh, other than the fact that, yeah, she does look like the previous image, so uh, that has basically been confirmed. Now, it's possible that Blizzard could add Sombra today after they take out the Halloween stuff, but I think it's probably more likely that they're going to do something at BlizzCon. My bet is that Sombra is going to hack into one of the panels or one of the events. And basically she's going to make her appearance there. And, you know, the crowd is going to go nuts and all that sort of stuff. That's what I think is going to happen. That's kind of similar to how... Valve announced their latest hero in Dota 2. Basically, it was during a big kind of show match, and they just said, oh, you know what, why don't you just use this other character? And they used it as a way to announce uh, their new hero that people have been waiting for a very, very long time for. And it went over amazingly. People, like, went crazy for it. So I think the most likely scenario that we're going to get a release of Sombra, at least her announcement, like putting her on the PTR and stuff, is probably going to come at BlizzCon, and it's probably going to come from some sort of staged event, like a hack or something like that. But that's going to be about it for this one. Guys, make sure you hit subscribe because there's lots more Overwatch on the channel. If you like the video, hit that like button, share it with your friends. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault.